Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on our 40th wedding anniversary. To tell you a little bit about myself, I was born in Chicago. At the age of two, I moved to Los Angeles with my family. I went to Dorsey High School, Los Angeles City College, UCLA. And after that, uh, I was drafted into the Army. I have two younger sisters. Hi Doris, hi Shirley. And uh, after that, I moved to San Francisco where I was a marketing director for PepsiCo for a number of years. And after that, I'm going to let my wife tell you a little bit about herself. I was born in Los Angeles. Yay! A native of L.A. Cool. Anyway, when I was here until I was about 13, uh, and uh, when I was 13, we all moved to South Beloit, Illinois. So I went to junior high school there, and I went to high school. And boy, was it a rude awakening when I got there and found out about snow. I had never seen it before. So after those years of being there, and also in DeKalb for a while, I decided it was time for me to get out of that snow. I was freezing. And so I, tailed, I hightailed it back to Los Angeles, and once I came back, I felt like I was at home again. Whew. Anyway, I ended up getting a job at, uh, as a fitting model in the fashion industry, and then from there, ended up in uh, Beverly Hills and working. So um, I really, really enjoy the beach, uh, the sunshine. I, I was just so excited to be back to California and not to have any snow anymore. Yeah, baby. I'll tell you a little bit about when I first met my wife. I had gone to a concert. <laughs> minding my own business and I gaze over to the right after this concert is over and I see this well fellas you know what I mean and I was trying to figure out what I was going to say to her well that kind of begged the question what quality that I really first see in my wife F-I-N-E what can I say <laughs> well I don't know I have a different story when I was entertaining some out-of-town guests, the concert was canceled, so we went next door to PJ's. And I was just having fun, just dancing, and my out-of-town guests, my family, we were just having a good time. So at the end, we get ready to leave, and I look up, coming out of the ladies' room, and I go, whoa, who is this tall, dark-skinned man who is dressed sharp? And I just kind of walked past like I didn't even notice him because I didn't want him to know that I saw him seeing me, seeing him. So I just kept on walking. And you know what happened? He tapped me on the shoulder and said, uh, excuse me. And I said, <laughs> yes. And he said, haven't I seen you somewhere before? I was like, oh, he is using that old line on me again. And I look up, I said, well, let me just check him out first before I answer. So when I looked down and saw the suit and the shoes shining, I said, hey, hey, no, you haven't. You haven't seen me before, but uh, <laughs> you want to see me? <laughs> you know, it's an interesting thing when I was trying to visualize this fine woman it started to dawn on me that maybe this is somebody I want to spend the rest of my life with. Now, I wasn't sure, but one day we went shopping, and while I was waiting for her, for some reason mm -hmm. in my mind, I began to look into the future. I saw her at 30, I saw her at 45, I saw her at <laughs> and now here we are, and you know, I want to say this, mm -hmm. She is exactly like I thought she would be 40 years ago. So that quality, whatever it is, I quite, haven't quite been able to put my finger on it, mm -hmm. but it must mm -hmm. be something that's developed over time, and I'm so happy mm -hmm. that I'm here with this woman today. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> well, it's interesting. Uh, when I realized that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with Robert was after uh, months and months and months of us talking and um, he had such a deep voice and I was just so fascinated with yeah. talking with him <laughs> all, all, those ye all those months and as a result, you know, I just said, you know what, he was very kind, he was gentle, 
He was caring. He would all, every time we would go out to uh, see a movie, he'd always bring his mother yogurt or bring her strawberry ice cream. And I said, now that's a quality I like. So it was just an overall quality, plus it was listening to his voice. You know, there's an old saying, men are affected by what they see, but women are affected by what they hear. And because, she was fine and I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> and because he lived in San Francisco, we probably dated a lot just by talking on the telephone at that time. Big so, phone bill. Uh-huh. He had a big phone bill, but guess what? I didn't have to pay it, but I was okay about it. <laughs> wow, you know, there's a question about the proposal. Proposal? You know, yes. Uh, when did you propose to me? No, you proposed to me. Well, you mean to tell me all this time you never proposed no, to me? No, you proposed to me. Doris, don't you remember when you told me, you called me and said she was practicing back there about will you marry me? Oh, Ask her, she'll tell you. You know what? Then I want a proposal right now. You mean right now? Uh, right now. <laughs> in, front of, in front of all you Hey, people. hey. Oh. Do you all want a proposal? Huh? Oh. Now. Uh, Only for you, friends, and I want this on record, okay? <laughs> So after that, once we uh, decided we were going to get married, we set the wedding date. Uh, it was August. She set the wedding. I, okay, I set the wedding day, and I tell you what, it happened. We got married in his father's backyard. It was a beautiful garden setting. Remember that, Dad? Uh huh. And so uh, Inez uh, was there, and Luke, uh, my father-in-law, and it was just, it just turned out really nice. I really enjoyed it. And they live happily ever after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you know it was time for the children to come along. Now, Lita and I were going to be world travelers. We were going everywhere, no children. And then all of a sudden, there came La Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. Swahili and French for the first. We know we were trying to be creative. Uh -huh. It was Angela Davis era. Y yeah, right on for you the know, power to the people. people. Mm -hmm. uh, then after that, there was Tessa. And the reason we said Tessa, we figured, but Kwanzaa was a long name, remember? How's yeah. she going to spell that we in school? It with Tessa. So we said Tessa. Uh, derivative for Teresa. Yeah, and remember we said, that's it. Now, because no four is company. Okay. Four. And we, yeah. We're only two. No, but you and me and two is four. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so then after that, <laughs> everything right. was going fine. And then, and then uh, all of a sudden came oh, La oh, oh. So we we figured out this has got to be the last one. Mm -hmm. So La Denier in French is the last. Mm -hmm. And after how old is La Denier? Well, don't 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 say it because she's a grown woman now. She doesn't yeah. want to know her age. Well, but it worked. So uh, we're okay now. And you know what we did? We named her. Remember I sent you to the library when yeah, I was in I the hospital? Yeah. And I said, get a name that means the end, the last. Yes. And he came back with La Denier. And yeah. I told Robert, right. if there was one more child after this, just one more, it was going to be oops and, and what? I don't know, oops but we were figuring and, this is it. Oh, man. Are you, I was at oops in Russian. It was oops and... That's all right. Oh. They got the point. Okay. No, no. Don't, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> it was oops and... That's good. Uh, okay. That's good. All those years I've been saying that. That's okay. Good. But anyway, it's okay. All right. Uh, so you got the point. And now we have grandchildren. Mm -hmm. We have, is it three grandchildren? You don't know how many grandkids you have. Oh, okay. oh one. <laughs> he has five. Let's see. Let's see. Hunter, Halston, Harrison, Harrison, Lauren, Fallon, and Fallon. Fallon and no, Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's five. We got five grandchildren. <laughs> They're here tonight, too, someplace. If you want to, stick a dollar or two in their pocket. That'll help us with feeding them. That'll take, that'll be great. All right. Now, after the grandchildren, then we have all of our friends we've enjoyed all these years. Many of them are here tonight, oh, and yeah. we appreciate them being here for this special occasion. And you know, without these friends, I tell you, I don't know what our life would be like. 
We have some. We have gone to the Hollywood Bowl. We have many of them Steve. that we have gone on cruises. No names. We have yeah. some that we've just, we have done so many things with our friends. And we want all of you to know that you're here because we have really appreciated. You've been instrumental in us being able to have a, a beautiful uh, marriage together. And uh, we've uh, we've Don't gone. forget the ones we borrowed money from too. Oh, too. Uh, oh yeah. I we'll hope he paid you, you back, right? y'all. Yeah, we'll Did take you care pay of him back? Uh, I'll <laughs> see you after the after. The, okay. Yeah. And we we've done many things with him. We've been out in the ministry with him. Yeah. We have uh, had talks. We've just done a number Good of time. things. So we have really really enjoyed these many uh, friends. And we're glad that you're all here tonight. Oh, thank you for being. Wow, tomorrow will be 40 years of being married. Is that a long time or yeah. what? Yes, it is. August 5th, that's our official day. Uh -huh. But you know the thing that's helped us stay what together has been a lot of things. One that comes to mind right off is that by us being able to look at this from a spiritual point of view mm -hmm. and seeing how God has directed us as a married couple to stay together, there's a scripture there that says a threefold cord cannot quickly be torn in two. Mm -hmm. And so everything that we've done, even though when the bad days were there, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I was able to appreciate from a spiritual point of view, it says there to stick with your wife. Mm -hmm. And I guess you had to stick with me, right? Oh man, I tell you, there have been some days that hasn't always been rosy. I have to tell yeah. you, we've had our days. But you know, one of the things that I have to say is, is that because I consider him my best friend, and uh, just like with best friends, even if you have a good girlfriend, you have your little spatter here and there, but you still you still go right ahead on and, uh, and are able to maintain. And then also a good sense of humor. I have always said a good sense of humor with Robert uh, has really been able to help us maintain our relationship. Yes, we had to laugh to keep from crying <laughs> or grimacing, you know, uh -huh. but it's, it, it's all worked out. And then uh, last but not least, one of my favorite things to do is that I would always make an appointment at a restaurant because I figured Robert would, uh, he would sit there and he'd be real nice and gentleman-like. And so then I would wait till I get to the restaurant and I'd go, well, you know, honey, you remember those clothes that you keep leaving on the floor and you don't pick up? I said, I really think you need to pick them up in the future, don't you? And you normally he might say, you know what, are we going to talk about that again? And he'd get up and walk away, but not at a restaurant, not at a restaurant. He's going to say, you know, honey, that, that might be something I would consider. And so Yeah, because everybody's <laughs> watching us. <laughs> So one of the nice things is that we have our ways of being able to sit down and talk about some of these things and then be able to resolve them. But you wives out there, you take your husband to a fine restaurant and I guarantee you, he's not gonna leave, he's not gonna argue, and he's not even going to debate. So man, debate. that means if you go to the <laughs> restaurant and you have this quality discussion, yes. she pays the bill. Ooh, you know what? That's all right, because guess where the money's coming from? <laughs> well, look, we want to thank you for coming. We've had a great time. We appreciate everyone that came. Oh, really? You're very special. Mm -hmm. There were so many other people we wanted to uh, invite, but we just didn't have the room. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate you coming. We hope you enjoy the rest of the program mm -hmm. and look forward to seeing you again in mm -hmm. another 40 years. Okay, and 40 years even plus. Well, I think everything has come to a happy end for us right now and I tell you what I'm gonna get on that dance floor and I hope some of you will join me honey are you see gonna you? join me yeah on the dance yeah floor? and Tommy trailer especially we'll oh. see you out there okay <laughs> all right bye-bye okay